Friday and made it to the bank on time. 6.02 p.m. on the dot. Had to pull out, you know what I'm saying? You gotta pay that rent money. Unfortunately, you gotta pay the rent money. No roof over the head for free these days. Not like it used to be back in the day where I'll tell you what, you join the military, they put a roof over your head. You know what I'm saying? Build a little equity there, you know what I'm saying? Looking real good. I'll tell you what, again, I'm not really uh, involved too much with the military. My brother's out, my dad's out. Uh, but you know, we still have some friends of the family in the military. They seem like they're taking good care of you. Hopefully paying those housing expenses, paying that action. So, you know what I'm saying? We'll see what it is not exactly sure why i'm wearing this sweatshirt it's kind of hot in this black car right now but i'll tell you what it's gorgeous outside today hey look there's my house oh poor chair still here it's seen a better day oh bummer i haven't seen too many goodies around the uh, neighborhood yet so we're gonna go ahead and keep our eyes peeled a little bit more. Don't you worry about that. We will be getting some new fresh cans a little bit closer as well, next to the new building construction. So we're definitely gonna be keeping some eyes out. You know what I'm saying? Folks, long time coming. We need to do some goodwilling. Before we do do that, I do wanna show you a couple little bits of action from the hall. We have some Levi's here. Remember that clothes bag? All those men's clothes. Unfortunately, the uh, gentleman was a little bit uh, more waistline than I am. So uh, these are actually like pretty big for me, 36s, but then they're a little bit short. Now if they were, well, actually they're my height, 30 inches length, but 36 inch waist Levi's. There's actually a couple of real nice pairs here. We're just going to go ahead and give all these to Goodwill. Sure, I could sell them, but I might as well just Goodwill them. They're really, really nice. XL shirts, again, too big for me. We have a Ruka. We have a Ruka button up. We have a Volcom button up. And we have, look at this, Seven Diamonds. That has to be worth something right there. Seven Diamonds is a real expensive brand there. And then we also have some Perry Ellis pants, some more beautiful Levi's with another button up right here. And then I think another pair of Levi's too, 3629s and 3630s right here. My brother was able to fit, because they're a little stretch here. My brother's a 34. He was actually able to fit in to a pair of 36s I gave him but he is taller than 30. He is taller than me. So the brother has gotten the good genetics, I'll tell you what. So we're looking absolutely fantastic. We're just gonna good all wheel all these stuff from our others, but I just wanted to show you before I take them all down. Obviously this is a good solid, probably, you know, probably sell that whole entire bundle individually, probably make upwards of 50, 60 bucks. But you know, sometimes guys, it's just push. Let's just push it on out. We just need to like bulldoze it on out and start fresh. Oh, but real quickly before I do go, here was the pair of Van shoes that was inside of the same bag with those clothes. Unfortunately, size 12. I will be selling these for sure. And these leather vans are really nice size 12 as well. I might actually see if my cousin wants, I think he's a size 12. So actually he's in town and we'll see him next week. So I'm gonna see if he wants this because uh, you know, obviously, you know, I'd rather give family, you know, some shoes, you know, I mean, it's cool. <laughs> I'm on my way to a late night car wash. But it's been a while since we stopped over at the old office depot. I'll tell you what, that was wild, wasn't it? That Goodwill had a ton of stuff, but hands off the merchandise because that is for donations, my friends. So we dropped a whole trunk load off at Goodwill for donations. And we're hoping that everyone looks good. All right, security's actually in the parking lot right now. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go wash the car and then come back and he'll be uh, out of his shift by then. So we'll go ahead and wait till this guy crosses the street in the crosswalk. No, he's pulled back, he's pulled back. He's letting me go first. There's a limit to Oh boy, clean car. Now let's go vacuum. Folks, it's Office Depot time. It's been a long, long time. We might even pop by Barnes and Nobles on the way out. We just gotta see, cause I gotta go to the bathroom real bad. Well folks, we got a full blown classic cherry finish desk of some sort or a shelving unit. It's actually in there. Take a look at that. It even has the backing and everything. Wow, look at that. That's a score right there. And take a look at this. There's a ton of these things. Look at this, guys. We got what it is. It is Mars Carbon 2MM drawing leads. I'm not really sure what that is, but there's a whole stack of them down there. Well, that's a whole dumpster full of cardboard. That has to be at least 
50 bucks worth of cardboard. Well, might as well. Whoa, that's actually a beautiful couch. Take a look at that, beautiful. By the way, if you're wondering, I still gotta go to the bathroom. I'm actually shaking like a little three-year-old. I'll tell you, whoa, whoa, there's the other portion of it with that lamp. Hold on now. B-E-A, beautiful. How about that lamp right there? Marble finish to it, I like it. Folks, we have something real special for you today. Welcome to the first episode of Mean Comments. This is from Gypsy Cliff. Great name, by the way. Complete waste of time. And your fake, I won't say the next word, response of God bless you and your family is all capitals, so he must be yelling. Not appreciated, exclamation point. Oh, well, God bless you. God bless your family. Miss Toots, T-O-O-T-S, comments and says, yes, I know what you're saying. Point, 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 point. Yes, I know what you're saying. Point, 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 point. Yelling, yes, I know what you're saying. And then six or seven points, and then yells again, yes, I know what you're saying with a weird emoji face. Well, Miss Toots, I know what you're saying. Matthew Piston, I can't even finish your video. You talk too much in in your such in your in your you are such in idiot get off tube you get off tube you moron. And then he actually has five thumbs ups for that one. That's a really good comment. Well, Matthew Preston, that's fantastic. I'm glad you can spell off tube. I think you meant YouTube. Nancy Spain writes, too much, this is interesting, T space A space L space K space Y dash talk. Too much talk, oh, oh, talkity talk and not enough diving. Come on, get with it. A bunch of hot cars, not exciting at all. Bored stiff with like eight emojis, Nancy. <laughs> Fantastic. Do I bore you? Echo 9970 writes, Yappity yap yap, is that all you do is talk, LOL, with an emoji. <laughs> yes, I talk a lot. I love to hear myself talk. I actually sit in front of the mirror for 30 minutes a day, every day, and just talk to myself. And Darth inside dome worst video ever in this video about dumpster diving or some i'm not going to say the word driving around talking to himself also the i'm not going to say the word music put to a video grow up idiot 35 i still got some learning to do well thank you very much for coming to the first episode of mean comments binsberg films edition Seems like all those mean comments came off of one video. And that's like, I think my number one video, the best find ever. A lot of people weren't very happy about Hot Wheels. Anywho, ladies and gentlemen, it has actually come down to a part of that. I wanted to make you laugh a little bit before we do get in to a little something something here that is a little bit more serious, actually a lot more serious than some funny mean comments. And that is actually doing daily videos has been a little bit of a struggle to just be able to do the day-to-day -day life. And diving at nighttime has definitely taken a wear on my schedule. I'm gonna try to start getting up early, early. And so actually, I just wanted to come on camera right now and just let you know that I will be quitting Binsberg Films entirely for a very long period of time. I might be back, so I might not quit altogether. But again, I will not be making any more videos and concentrating on other avenues of generating income for my family. It's just a thing that we decided together to pursue something outside of this space. So again, thank you so much for coming along for this wonderful ride. Thank you for subscribing. Don't forget about me. Hopefully one day I'll be back in a couple years. I don't know, sky's the limit right now. But God bless you, God protect you. Remember to carpe diem, baby, and live your dream. And just remember to always smile no matter what the bad news is. Gotcha. 
April Fools. Hopefully people don't like actually unsubscribe because then that would be a reverse joke. Then the joke would be on me. Huh, hopefully not.